What's going on here, Mick? Scotty. What's going on here, mate? Mate. Hey? What weapon's this? This is Holy Ship 3.0, everybody. It's finally here, and what an absolute epic rig. Mate. I don't think I can come up with the words, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Surtees have absolutely knocked it out the park with this boat. The eight metre game fisher. Let's have a little look at this bloody thing. Look at it. Yeah, mate. I mean, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard this to find the words. Where do you start? I don't well? know. Like, first things first, obviously, we're sitting here on the trailer. This is Maiden Voyage. We're here in Raglan. And uh, we've had a good look at what's been on the trailer. Been drooling over it for the last day. But uh, yeah, now we get to put it through its paces out on the water. But check this out. First and first, the wrap. I mean, look at that. That is some amazing work from the team at uh, Signs 100 and RA Graphics. You would have seen the old holy ship. That was pretty cool. This one's got some next level detail. And uh, yeah, you, the more you look, the more you find, eh, Migsy? Yeah, that's it, man. So yeah. if you ever get a chance to come and see Holy Ship in person, have a good old look at that boat, because yeah. it's um, in that wrap, just the detail is epic. Yeah. There's lighthouses and octopuses and <laughs> sharks and all sorts of stuff, so definitely check that out. Yeah, so very impressive bit of uh, workmanship there. Speaking of workmanship, though, I think it's pretty uh, obvious to see what the, uh, what the showstopper is when she's parked on the side of the road, and that is that thing right there, the G-Fab trailer. That is an absolute work of art. Triple axle, alloy trailer, fully built, customised to, to suit Holy Ship with all, all our weight requirements, everything like that. So it's, it's actually customised for this boat, and that's how GFAB do it. And they've done an amazing job. I mean, just check out the welds on it. This is epic. Like, I mean, oh, yeah, we're literally still trying to come up with words when you, when you look at this rig. It's just amazing. Come into the nitty gritty. Yeah. So you've got no winching anymore. So you've got yeah. electric winch, boat catch, um, yeah, so, that, so that's, your, that's basically, your, so no de-shackle either, eh? So nah, nah, take that's, your winch off, is that, that's is that right? So yeah, and then, yeah, we come in, click, away you go. Yeah, yeah and it's just, an, uh, it's just a, a special bit of kit, eh, that trailer? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, man. Oh, this, oh. oh, I'm so excited, man. Yeah, so why don't we just get this get this thing in the water, eh? I think so, eh? Think. I'll get it in the drink? Yeah, let's get it in the drink. Get it in the drink. I'm excited to see how she drink? performs, yeah. yeah come for a look. There's a whole lot more going on in here. aboard welcome aboard and obviously we're starting at the back here we're gonna make our way through what's going on back here mate there's a couple of big beasts <laughs> back here oh yeah the good old hondas absolutely so honda 225 two of them 450 oh, horsepower for you guys that are not very good with your maths that's me it's a lot of horsepower we went from 250 horsepower on the back of our 750 to now 450 on the back of the eight meter and that is a serious amount of grunt yeah it's awesome <laughs> yeah yeah it's a cool bit of the, cat you know how the hondas are absolutely epically reliable super efficient and power let's just say there's some power this thing performs <laughs> we'll show you that a bit later absolutely what else we got going on back here Mixie? we've also got the full we've got the full cage here as well so cage along with a ladder so we've got twins still managing to keep the yeah, cage the safety epic. of being able to fish over the back which is pretty awesome and then the double walk through transom so it makes this back area really easily used yeah you can walk around here obviously we can fish all the way across the back which is great allows us to fight fish all the way around the boat which we've done on obviously our other boats and then this one is exactly the same managed to lower that bait board down a little bit too which gives us a bit more freedom up here eh? which is awesome yep and they've it. actually raised this duck board up a bit too eh? this boarding platform slightly higher than on our previous boats which is awesome because your feet don't get it all wet so even if you're a bit of a wuss and you don't want to get your shoes wet or your socks wet nah mate bare feet <laughs> hey? Got anyway it. double walkthroughs and we hop inside the cockpit and there's a lot going on back here mate yep so over this side we've got Tuna tube. Oh, and this side? Both yeah, sides? both sides. Two tuna tubes, two live bait tanks. You've got the little, our little pull up. You pull these up in rough weather. No waves over the back. Too easy. Absolutely. And moving on to our, like I said, nicely uh, positioned bait board here. Slightly lower than the last season one, which is great. So it's a good height. And uh, cup holders there. Plenty of rod holders. Pockets on the side. Drawers in there for the essential tackle. We normally keep pretty much our main go-to traces and there's some scissors and then that side's got our rigging needles and a few other bits and pieces and a couple of other little bits of tackle storage in there which is pretty cool uh, while we're at this area here we might as well have a quick look at inside the little hatch here Mick. yeah mate which is look, see. 
Very tidy obviously, bit of cat. Very tidy. Cities obviously do a very good job of their wiring. And this boat's all built to survey, so it's got a lot of stuff going on in here. A lot of stuff going on oh, here, right? Stuff, so our, <laughs> it's pretty obviously awesome. Obviously, our batteries, battery zone batteries, all powering everything. Yep. So, a couple of start batteries, house battery, obviously, all our breakers and everything, so we can um, merge those together if we need to. But, yep. yep, that's all solidly put together, so we shouldn't, shouldn't need to worry about that at all. Nah, let's shut that up and away we go. And this little bad boy on the side, which will have a little bit of more of a insight into a bit later on, but that's obviously our C-Zone digital switching panel, which links back to the one up the front, which is pretty awesome. So that's all our cockpit related things. Live bait tank, tuna tubes, wash down, deck lights, cabin lights, underwater lights, all controllable right there, which is pretty cool. Pretty dope. What else we got going on back here, Mixie? All right, wash down pump behind you, oh, yeah. mate. So yeah, we can have a good old tidy up. So yeah. keeps everything uh, keeps everything nice and clean and tidy on the boat. Super simple. That's a good, real good high pressure one though. So yeah, like Mick said, blast away all that bait and gunk. Get back at the end of the day, and it's not such a big clean up mission back at the depot, eh? Yeah. No, it's not something you quite often talk about, but the rod holders on this boat are actually pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. These bad boys right here. Check them out. So these are the Evolution 360 rod holders. Some of you guys might have seen these. But yeah, check that out. If you want to position your rod a different way from the standard setting, you can just do it as easy as that. Let go of yep. that button. There it is. Locks it in. Perfect. Straight lining current's going that way. Oh, sweet. Oh, let's just do that. Boom. There you go. Sit back. Let your line run with the current rather than the traditional rods that way. You've got to try and do all that kind of carry on and it's going back there and it's just annoying. So all of our uh, gunnel rod holders are set up with these 360 evolutions and they are money. Not bad. It's pretty obvious what's going on here. Good old sea deck. So awesome foam product, which is on our top sides, our floor, throughout the cabin, all over the boat, because it just means that you can wear bare feet. It's comfy as, washes up really well, and fully customizable as well, so you can get some cool logos and bits and pieces. Yeah, in there. and super hard wearing too. So it, like, yeah, real good. Like Mick says, cleans up well. So you get a bit of blood on there, scrub, off it comes, easy as. So, cool product, yeah. it's really, uh, finishes yeah. the boat as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah, it looks mountain in that sort Love of it. teak slash mocha colour, which we've gone for here, and then we'll show you more of the sea deck as we go around the front soon. Epic, but even little pockets like this, oh, you've, yep. got, you've got sea right. deck in there, stops, you, stops your, ga your gaffs and your rods or whatever you put in these side pockets from knocking around too much, so it keeps those fish closer to the boat. Oh, yeah, this little bad boy over here, that's right. This is pretty cool, haven't had one of these on the boat before either. Looking forward to some winter dives now, Mick. That's it, it's gonna be super comfy. Hot water shower. Oh, oh yeah. luxury, absolute luxury. Getting in and out of the wetsuits isn't going to be a problem anymore. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's uh, some hot water there. Got hot water still under, under one of the seats up the front. So the hot water there and in our galley as well, which is money because yeah, those uh, winter dives are horrible when you have to lube up your wetsuit with cold that's water. Right. Not anymore though. And quite possibly my favourite feature. Oh, you, actually, oh, your favourite feature is a big pretty, call, mate. It's pretty good. There's some the, features on this boat, Mick shows with the chili bins. The double slide <laughs> in, slide out chili bin. So chili bins in, out of the way, but you've got to split lid so you can get your fish or get your ice or grab your drinks out of there. Bang, they close up. Yeah, slide in, in, right up in there, out of the way, so you've got the full deck for fishing. Like, you do. Good. But yeah. favourite feature? Really? I don't know. Uh, Criticise me for my favourite feature. There's some pretty feature. good gear on this boat. Chuck down in the comments what you think your favourite feature is, and if it's the chili bins, then... You know, yeah, thumbs yeah. up for Mig, otherwise uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something else, but mine's... We'll see, there's too many, there's too there many features, anyway. really, how do you pick one? Yeah, exactly, right, to be fair. Okay, moving what, up around the front here? Yeah, let's come and have a look around the front, because it's a little bit different. They're a bit different up here, we can actually walk around this uh, cabin now, so uh, come for a nosy. And how good is this? Pretty much a Surtees walk around, look at this. Yeah. Too it's easy. Not bad. Too easy. And then once we get up here, plenty of room. Yep, and that raised bow rail, so yep. that allows us to obviously fish up here, rod holders up here, so casting, stick bait, soft baiting. Yep, right off the front, perfect. Minn Kota still to come, but that's not far away. And a sea deck all throughout, yep. so you've got plenty of all that grip, like it makes this area really usable. Super usable. And this cool little sucker right here, Scotty. Oh yeah, it's one of the, the favourite features. Matter. That's so one of the favourite features. It's been somebody else's favourite feature already. I'm pretty sure it was Paddy's, wasn't it? It was Paddy. And then so. take that dwangler out there, and then... Bang! Get off for a swim, jump off onto the beach, onto the rocks, Obviously. back at the wharf. Down you go, boarding on and off. Like we say, make the most of this bow. Super easy. So cool. And then pull that up there, shut it down. Oh. <laughs> like that. Bang, bang. Clang, clang. Here we go. Yes. Rod holders here too, obviously. Everywhere you look, pretty much, is somewhere to chuck your rod, which is obviously she's built to fish, so yep. 
That's nice big hatch. You can get in and out of the get in yeah. and out of the cabin. Super easy. No issues there. And all this, and obviously, what? that's pretty cool. We've got an anchor winch under there, but you you wouldn't know that because it's got the, the hatch on the top. But then in there, there she is. The Maxwell. The beast. Absolute beast of an so, anchor winch. Big old drum winch, which is nice and easy to use. I've been using drum winches for years, and this is our yeah, this Maxwell one's awesome. drum winch, yeah. so Keep very solid. Yeah. So I'll show you that when we get back in the cabin as well. It's got a cool little bit of features with it. Um, but yeah. So yeah, very uh, excited about this space because this is going to get a lot of a lot of action, eh? You can see us Absolutely, up here. Absolutely, man. Like, in this, like I say, this raised bow rail and just how all of this is laid out is mm. going to be epic. Because you know, if you know, if you're doing any sort of casting, you need to have that ability to swing Ooh. your rod. So yeah, back there it's not that easy. Here, here. piece of piss. Nose it up. Yeah. Casting stickies. How good. How good. Oh, let's have a look at this roof, eh? Have a look at this roof because this has uh, got some some gear on it as well. So it's not often you talk about a roof, eh, Mick? Nah, mate. But uh, <laughs> there's a bit going on on this sucker. So obviously three light bars, hella lighting all the way yeah. around the front. Yeah, decked out with hella lighting. The hatch is here, which you can access from above or below so someone wants to pass you out a bevy cheers mate carry on good as gold z deck gold. obviously on the roof so we can uh, climb up on here if we need to what's this one mick thermal imaging camera yeah so at night time we'll obviously show you that from inside as well but thermal imaging camera for when our night all of our night navigation yeah and a cyclone open array radar very unique for a trailer boat of this size obviously they're normally seen on way bigger boats but uh yeah raymarine have designed one that's perfectly well, suited for a trailer boat of this size and, and even smaller. So that's awesome because the detail that this one gives is a lot more than yeah. your standard dome radar. The so, ultimate performance, eh? Yeah, it's pretty wicked. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, looking forward to putting that through its paces too. Not just at night, so spotting birds, um, it can be used for fishing as well. So yeah, very handy bit of kit that will be used a lot. For sure, you've got your tie down points as yeah. well. Yeah. And obviously like Scott was saying, the sea deck tie down points so we can load a bit of gear on here, obviously underneath the yeah. radar is that spinning but we so find we have a lot shoot. of extra gear that you're taking you might not necessarily need a eh? like you know, yeah sometimes you take a dive bag or something like that you don't know if you're going to need it so rather than taking up cabin space or you know yep. space in your cockpit chuck it up here Ooh, on the roof on tie the roof. it down out of the way and if you need it you can go and grab it yeah good use of that space triple stack rocket launcher can never have too many rods i think we started off with uh, our first 750 had a single then we went to a double and we needed uh, even more rod storage so chuck in a triple and there's a hell of a lot of rod storage in this boat like you say, you go out there, you don't always know what you're going to necessarily need, so it's nice to have those extra combos and not in the cabin or down in the cockpit in the way, up here out of the way, and uh, if you need it, go and grab it. Too, so. too, sure, too true, and then like the rods that you'd have down there in the way, you can just get up here out of the way. Yeah. So when you're fishing down there, unobstructed, yeah. and it's pretty much 21-ish rod holders up here, yeah. so it's pretty epic. 21-ish? 21-ish. Yeah. Is that your quick, quick count, up? count up? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And, don't um, quote me on the 21 rod holders yeah, on the roof, yeah, but 21-ish. Don't, don't 21-ish. And um, obviously we've got fully game rigged for our mates at Kilwell, so our outriggers. So obviously all set up for game fishing, yeah. and that's the, the main setup as well. And we'll be We're, doing that very shortly. That's too too one true. Of first, one of our first missions, I would say. And obviously, everywhere where you could conceivably need a light, we've got one. So, night time, we'll have absolutely everything lit up. So, we've got side lights out here, big hell of lights out here. Give us our uh, fishing area all lit up here in the cockpit so we can see what we're up to. Lights up the whole floor, and obviously, us for when we're filming, which is nice. This big bad boy here as well. Another huge light bar, which just throws out stacks of light. In the middle there. And then, where else, Megzi? All our side gun lighting. So, all lit up those side pockets so we can see what we need in there. Yeah. We've got the bluefin underwater lights in the back. So they're blue, white strobe for when we're game fishing. So it will just pump out heaps yeah. of all sorts of stuff and make it look like there's heaps going on. And uh, yeah, so it, like Scotty says, everywhere we need a light is there. And that doesn't stop where in the cabin <laughs> no, where we're doesn't. moving into here because there's right. some lights in there as well. Another really awesome feature, eh, Mig? It's got to be these uh, bifold style doors. That's it. Yeah. The enclosed boat. But yeah. Obviously, once they're open, yeah. it's pretty epic. So full open boat. And they come right back like that. That one just tucks in there. Oh. Locks in there like that. And then we've got the other little dwangler there. Open that up. Take that back there. Latched in there. And like Mick said, boom. There's your cabin. Here's your cockpit. So you got the best of both worlds right here. So you got your yeah enclosed cabin when you need it. But then you feels like you're basically in an open cabin boat, eh? That's it. So yeah. fully closed off. Keep yeah. the weather out. Keep the warmth in sometimes too. That's all right. And uh, come have a look in come here. Come have a look in here. <laughs> it's pretty epic. So we'll start here with the galley. 
another pretty unique one for us, which is pretty excited about, because you know we love our brews, but, so we've got a full galley here, sink, chopping board comes out, fresh water, hot and cold obviously, a bit of a luxury, and even more of a luxury is this little bad boy here, so this is a little diesel heater, so crank that up, you got your elements right there, so no need for any gas or gas bottles or anything like that, just a little diesel tank, runs these, and uh, that also doubles as a diesel heater, which, shut that down, it just cranks out some heat, so in those winter days when you're cruising in and out and it's a bit cold, shut the doors, put the diesel heater on, sit in comfort. A little bit too comfortable, it's, isn't it? It's it really ridiculous. Is. It's rude. It's almost it's rude. It's a bit rude, eh? But hey, we'll take it. Tell you what's not rude. What's it's not a rude, seat but... right here. Into here, looking out over your spread, fishing, whatever. It's just nice and comfortable yeah. seat. Obviously your feet on the icy text. Cuddle up. Yeah, too good. And then as you this... move into the cabin, as you want to change spots, yeah. too simple. Fold that bad boy back and then you're on the table. Sit at the table and this cabin is awesome. Like, you can't really get over how cool this cabin is, eh? Yep. This, just the use of the space is something else. Yeah, so we're sitting at this table. The table's here, side gunnel. So it's a place to put, yep. put stuff in the side pockets. I'm on my seat here, talking Comfy with Scott, head. playing some cards, doing eating some kai. Then we can just... No coin rugby though, Mick, because there's a lip on this yeah, table. Yeah, there is a lip on the table. No coin rugby for that. But then we'll flop, flop that bad boy that way. So then I can help him. As we're navigating, we can see what's going on. We can cruise around this way as well. But yeah, so this is awesome, and then we'll show you how this doubles as a bed, I guess, because that's yeah. what it does. Yeah, why why well. don't we do that while we're on the towel, we're looking at the tapes? Yeah. So, that there. All right. Okay. Just push them down, Mickey. Yeah, there we go. A little so, and then this. You gotta lift this up. Yep. So you grab that spot. That's pretty cool, because we do overnighters a lot. Doing those film wing missions. Yeah, we'll Slide that in our squabbin, Goldie, and ah, up oh, not bad. Properly good. <laughs> yeah, it's comfy. I can tell you. Is that the bed? Is, be, it? is that the one? This is this is where Scott will end up sleeping because he's princess in the pea. So oh come on. He needs the. Oh, as long as I've got a memory foam pillow, I'm all right. I don't need to have the fancy bed. I will sleep on the uh, squabs up there. Yeah, they're not mate. bad either, though. No, they're not bad at all. And as you drop down into the Ford cabin here, obviously heaps of room, and you can sneak this. Send a squab in here for when we're sleeping. So you can get a whole bunch of jokers in here. Sleeping away, plenty of room. Obviously you've got your side pockets for storage, your lighting underneath, and your, um, obviously heaps of room under the squabs and lighting so you can see in under those squabs as well. So heaps of storage and heaps of comfort for when you're sleeping overnighters. More clever uses of uh, space here with a bit more storage, or well, a lot of storage actually, under this uh, table area here. So jam a whole lot of stuff in there. It's nice and dry too. Fridge, essential, and galley cupboards and drawers, so it's gonna have all of our cooking and brew related bits and pieces in there. So that's pretty awesome. And then the helm station, which is probably my favorite part of the boat. Most boats is my favorite part is the helm station. And this one has got some gear. Pretty much got it all. <laughs> it has a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't even know where to start to be fair, but obviously Raymarine kitted out the Kitted the hell out of this boat with the uh, the uh, electronics in terms of the sounder. We've got the digital switching from Sea Zone, rocker switches with all the uh, essential things right at your fingertips, autopilot. We've got fuel fuel control. We've got Cortex VHF, which is a new style VHF, which is one on this side, and then there's a wireless one on the other side there, which is pretty awesome for those game fishing days. Uh, zip wake trim tabs, which we'll show you those when we're up and running, which are pretty awesome. Bow thruster. The Maxwell Anchor Winch, which is the uh, New Zealand made winch with the line counter on it, or the anchor counter on it, so you know exactly how much line you got out. So if you're sitting in 10 metres of water and you've got 15 metres anchor out, chances are you're on the bottom. Ultra Flex Steering, which is awesome as well, which is a, a full customizable steering, you these settings. So you can basically got light steering, heavy, and uh, oh, light, medium and heavy, for want of a better term. It's got more better terminology than that, but that's all I can think of for now. But it's pretty awesome though. Yep. That, gives you that feedback when you need it, and also if you want to have it really light for just yeah. docking and things like that, you yeah. can set it to that one there. Different modes for different situations, that's, that's really right. good. You yep. got it, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a very much uh, everything's at your fingertips, which is what you need. We've got wireless charger up there for the cell phone. All your trim and controls things, you've got the fly-by-wire for the Hondas here, which I, so we'll show you those in a second. EPIRB, more storage, platform there, set up here in the full balsa mode if you need to, so it'll be nice and high. And otherwise, if you want to get real comfy and just chill, you got this super comfy seat and sit back here. 
chuck the autopilot on. Away you go. And just cruise. Oh, too good. But yeah, check the digital switching out. We had it on the last boat, this is even better again. It's just got all of these buttons at your fingertips, so when you want to just control something, it's just there. So turn your tubes, wash down pumps, yeah. live bait tanks, all of the lights, all accessible by there. Also yeah. got its specific modes as well, so if we're game fishing, we can hit, hit the game fishing mode. It'll, 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 everything will just light up, so you watch this if we hit that. Boom. Hit all the pumps go on. Live bait tubes, tanks. the live bait tanks, underwater lights, they're all on, so you're not having to go around and figure out what you need to do. That's game fishing mode. Now we've set that up with Raymarine, so it's um, perfectly suited for what we need. Off it goes again. That's night anchor, it. night navigation, all the lights come on. The ones you've chosen to set up. So you can do that, it's fully customizable with anything you want. Awesome. Very, very cool bit of kit. Also, this boat has been decked out from the team at Fusion as well. So we've got oh, yep. our sounds. That's so right. we can they crank out soon, crank, yeah. crank our tunes. Um, speakers obviously here in the back of the cabin side pockets, down the back in the cockpit. So yeah. and they're, will and they're amped up too. So yeah, there's some, uh, some good tunes you can crank along. Real nice. And yeah, this is pretty nice too, eh? all the sort of vinyl finish as opposed to just carpet everywhere now. So yep. yeah, we've got just this, it just sort of feels a lot more, I don't know, like a car, I guess, but a, a more more, luxur more luxurious, which I guess is quite nice, but it still feels like a fishing boat as well. It's still got all that practical stuff, which is super important, um, especially because that's what CTs are all about. Like obviously the fishing things are just, everything you look at is screams fishing, but then you've got that comfort when you need it. All right, bro. Let's take it for a spin. For a spin, you? Reckon? What do you reckon? Well, I reckon it's pretty. Fire it up. We've been uh, talking about it for long enough. Time to go for a cruise and see how these uh, Hondas perform. Two push button start. Two motors, two throttles. Pretty exciting. We have had this for a little bit of a blat, but two's better than one, eh? Eh, hey, always. So fly by wire, super smooth. So if you don't know what that is, that's just a digital throttle control, so no cables. Very smooth, very responsive. Just get our motors trimmed right. Basically just hammer down, are you holding on, Mixie? I'm holding on, don't worry about me. Set our steering to that. But if you just cruise, they're actually not working too hard. 20 knots, 30 knots is a new 20 in this thing, man. Yeah. We just hit 40 with ease then. <laughs> it's fast. That power is addictive. Man, that's cool. And this steering is so nice. It's just like, I don't know how to explain that really. It's just like driving a car. There's just absolutely no What's the word? Confusion around what's happening. Everything just holds its line perfectly. I don't even need to touch the steering to be honest with you. You haven't even got autopilot on, it's just so, so true. And then that power, should we go again? Ready for another one? Another little squirt? <laughs> it's like a jet ski. And 40 knots. Some talk there, eh? It's, it's amazing, just the, eh? not just the power, it's the talk. You're back of your seat. Comfy enough there, mate? Well, something else. Yeah, man. Yeah, comfy comfy as. as. What else have we forgotten about this well, thing? I mean, just... Made extra comfy by the old zip weight. Oh, though. that was super comfortable. Yeah, like literally holding our line the whole time, not moving, not deviating. 
it's nice like not tipping and rolling, yeah, eh? it's right. just yeah. staying, staying Absolutely. true. Absolutely. So right. that's a good thing about this boat, you don't have to alter the trim tabs as you go yeah. along. Yeah. So Ziploc's an automatic trim tab, so as we're going along and the boat's doing this, it's just automatically adjusting the boat to yeah. suit. So pretty cool. Very cool bit oh, of equipment. The bow thruster. Oh. We forgot about the bow thruster. At least we forget. Yeah, this boat's got a bow thruster. So uh, <laughs> yeah, when we're coming into the dock, or if we're trying to you know, spin around on a fish or something like that, just this bad boy here, will uh, allow us to do that, basically thrust us left and right with a bow, or port and starboard. Okay, so we've got our bow thruster here. So, pretty simple. That's gonna send us starboard. She's noisy, but that's gonna send us starboard. And that's gonna send us port. There we go. Pretty cool, just moving, so if I go that way, there we go. Port side. covered it all off? Oh, oh, hardly. I'm sure we've missed something, but yeah. what an absolute weapon. Absolute weapon. Thank you so much to all the guys that uh, put all the gear into this thing. Can't thank you guys enough because this is our dream boat. Yeah, Genuinely. it's been a big build. So. Yeah, absolutely a big build, but uh, I think that's enough from us. Hope you guys enjoyed the little walk around. Want to jump at the helm, Miggy? Mate, hey, get out of get it. Get in there, yeah, have a go. Man. Let's give us a spin. Let's do some doughies, go do hey. some bombs, and uh, next time you see us, we'll probably be catching some fish. Woo! All Let's right. go, mate. See you in Hammer season down. 10. Let's do some doughies. Season 10, let's go. Yeah, the boys.